Hello and greetings to all. We are from group 14 from section 10. would like to present to you assignment 2 which is a case study project for subject communication principle. We have three group members, Naudratul Hikmah, Muhammad Alif and Abdullah. For this assignment we chose mission 4 which has three topics. First is amplitude modulation. Second is angle modulation. And third is radio digital modulation. Topic one is about amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation defined as a process by which the wave signal is transmitted by modulating the amplitude of the signals. And VAM equals to AC plus AM sine W omega T sine omega T is the formula of the amplitude modulation. Currently, this technique is being employed in numerous sectors of communication, including portable two-way radios, citizen band radio, VHF, aviation radio, computer modems, and used to identify a few medium wave amplitude modulation radio transmission. There are five different variants of amplitude modulation signals, which are Double sideband full carrier, double sideband surprise carrier modulation, single sideband modulation, single sideband surprise carrier, and vestigial sideband modulation. Some of the advantage is state on the left. Amplitude modulation is easier to implement. Demodulation of amplitude modulation can be done using few components and a circuit. The receiver of amplitude modulation is very cheap, and the right side is disadvantage of the amplitude modulation. The first is not efficient on power usage. It also requires a very high bandwidth that is equivalent to the highest audio frequency. Noise interference is highly noticeable. There is application of amplitude modulation is broadcast transmission, air band radio, single sideband, quadrature amplitude Modulation. Okay, for broadcast transmission, amplitude modulation is used in broadcasting transmission over the short, medium, and long wave bands. Since amplitude modulation is easy to demodulate, radio receiver from amplitude modulation are therefore easier and cheaper to manufacture. And for airband radio, amplitude modulation is used in the VHF transmission for many airborne applications such as ground to a radio communication or two-way radio links for ground staff personnel. For single sideband, amplitude modulation in this form is used for HF radio link or point-to-point -point HF links. AM use a lower bandwidth and provide more effective use to transmitted power. And for the quadrature amplitude modulation, AM is very intensively in transmitting data in several ways, including short-range wireless links such as Wi-Fi to cellular, telecommunication, and others. Next slide is demodulation of amplitude modulation. The simplest AM demodulator is made up of a diode that acts as an envelope detector. The product detector is able to offer better quality demodulation but with a complex addition circuit. And this is for the recent advancement equalization technologies for short reach optical link based on four level pulse modulation, pulse amplitude modulation known as PAM4. The benefit of PAM4 is providing high data rates. The user can have shorter download times which can save time for work. It also relative low cost. It helps people to have more saving and the challenge is the struggle to increase transmission rates. A low transmission rate cannot support the integration high voltage network offline substation and control facility that are planned. For the misconception of the amplitude modulation is the bio effect of amplitude modulated radio frequency radiation toward health. It is assumed the effect similar to purported cancer related or other health effect of ELF magnetic fields. As an example, power line that transmitted ELF magnetic field. So the local energy absorption maximum can be close to the exposure limits. It can be resolved by increased pupil is post warrant continued research to make sure that there are no risks associated with long-term exposure to weak amplitude modulation field. Now, let us take a look on the next part which is angle modulation. It is 
actually a process in which the frequency or phase of the carrier varies according to the method signal. There are two types of angle modulation. The first one is frequency modulation or FM and the second one is phase modulation or PM. FM is a frequency of carrier signal change with respect to modulating signal and for PM it's actually a process in which a phase of carrier signal change with respect to modulating signal. This is the equation for both FM and PM. What are the pros and cons for this type of modulation signal? The advantage of angle modulation is it has the ability to suppress the noise, make it lesser noise. This is actually improving the system fidelity. Due to the constant amplitude from the signal, it causes the system to be more power efficient. What are the disadvantages of using this type? Usually, angle modulation costs higher than using the amplitude modulation. This type of circuit requires a transmission bandwidth that is much larger than the message bandwidth. The modulation and demodulation circuit for FM and PM are usually more complex than using the amplitude modulation. Some application of using angle modulation is radio broadcasting, two-way mobile radio, cellular radio, microwave communication, and satellite communication. Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, I am Abdullah Shariahi and I'm going to discuss radio digital modulation. Uh, digital modulation is the conversion of analog to uh, digital and it uh, involves uh, transmission of bit streams. There are some techniques used to implement uh, digital modulation. First one is amplitude shift keying ASK. Uh, the second one is uh, frequency shift keying FSK and we have phase shift keying uh, PSK. Uh, about amplitude shift keying it is the, the change of amplitude based on input binary. So the input binary is low, the modulated signal will be, z uh, will be zero. And if the input binary is high or one, the uh, modulated uh, signal will exist. Uh, the second one is frequency shift keying, FSK. Uh, it is the change of frequency based on binary input. So when the uh, binary input is high, the modulated signal will be uh, the uh, uh, the output signal will be modulated with high frequency as it seems here and when the input binary is low uh, the output signal will be modulated uh, with lower frequency so phase shift uh, keying psk uh, it is the change of phase the wave based on binary input so when the binary input is high when the binary input is high, it will modulate the wave, the wave phase with one, uh, 180. So as it seems from here, from 0 to 1, uh, when the input changes from 0 to 1, uh, the, <coughs> the output will be modulated, the, the, the phase will be modulated with 180. So it will uh, reverse the, uh, the phase of the, uh, the signal. And when the uh, input binary is low, uh, it will modulate it that modulate the phase into zero so as it seems here when the input binary is zero it will make the phase uh, uh, zero as it was in the beginning so now we have the quad uh, quadrature phase shift uh, keying qpsk it is the change of the uh, the phase of the wave based on two bit uh, binary input so uh, not only 0 and 1, we have 2-bit binary input. So we have 1-1, one, one, it will make the phase uh, 45, 0, 1 will make it 135, 0, 0 will make it uh, two, uh, 225, 1, 0 will make it 315. So as it seems here, when we change it from the, uh, when we change the input, the uh, mod modulated signal uh, uh, will be as it in this uh, in this table. So uh, the benefits and the impact of the uh, communication technology. Uh, now we have virtual maps, not like traditional maps. So uh, virtual maps uh, locate your location 
uh, and your destination accurately uh, and give you the, the best uh, roads for it where there is no jam or uh, the, the fastest ways uh, store information uh, we now we don't have to store information in, written in paper it will take uh, a huge space and uh, hard to, to access a specific information uh, communicate across distance uh, now communication across distance is much easier uh, where we can do it in a second uh, not like without these technologies where we have to travel to uh, just to give information or to communicate with someone or we have to use the traditional mail where it takes a lot of time and it, it is limited uh, and the last thing is uh, increase work for, for the productivity so actually when we use the virtual maps we don't have to uh, to worry about the the wrong and right uh, uh, roads that we use uh, the uh, the hardest and the easiest we don't have to worry about anything uh, the technology will give us the most updated and the fastest ways to uh, to go to our destinations so it will not take any time or uh, or any work to do it uh, store information also will increase the productivity uh, where we can just search in uh, search about keywords and it will give us all the documents and all the information related to it and also about the communication across distance uh, now the the challenges is how to to make the communication as fast as there's almost no delay in it now are you ready to play some game let me bring you to ericsson tech traveler game here we go first go to your browser and then click on the link on the description to go to the ericsson tech traveler page Select whether you want to go for a full screen or just a window. You can enter your email address and select your country. Then click continue. You will need to click a single mission and then choose mission 4 data communication. Mission 4, Data Communications. In this mission, you need to research technology that enables data communication. Your goal is to move data from one computer to another. 300 hertz to 3400 hertz. Okay, now you are all set. Enjoy your game. Thank you.